to a new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Archer, Archer Robots. Robot. Now these are actually sent over by a company called AI Frame, a company that actually made humanoid robots before, now making combat robots, but at a desktop size scale. So these here are actually battle robots that you can actually fight on your desktop. And we actually have two of them so we can actually go ahead and try them out and see how it works. Now, these are actually currently not on the market yet, but they're actually on Kickstarter. And if you want your very own, be sure to check out the link down below. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening them up. All right, so they sent us over two, and let's just go ahead and take a look at one for now. Now, the box itself actually looks pretty nice. It's got a very unique shape to it, uh, and you can actually see the Archer logo right over here. In addition, just kind of show how the app looks right here, and then as you rotate it, you can actually see the robot itself. So it does see that there's a shield, a laser gun, as well as the fact that you can play with an app, and then it actually has like these small looking like spinning wheels on the bottom that actually help it move. Now, the way it opens up, literally just kind of slide it like so, and then right over here is our cool looking robot. So it almost looks like a showpiece, which is really nice. I love the quality of it. And we actually have, it looks like a quick start guide here, saying, you know, thank you for your purchase. Um, and then just kind of stuff in terms of like how to start it up. Uh, it shows right here on how to use the app. So very self-explanatory and quite easy. Uh, just kind of go ahead and download the app and it works via Bluetooth. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this. So it's got a very nice like cushiony feel to it and just kind of comes out like that and makes a nice looking rest for it whenever you're not playing with it. Now although I think this would look really cool just sitting on your desktop like so. So it's actually a nice desktop piece as well. Now the robot itself actually has a lot of different materials on it if you could tell. Uh, one thing I do notice is that it's actually got a, a clear uh, piece here as well. It's got a very nice metallic finish to it. Uh, it looks like the top parts are hinged on for the arms. Uh, and then the legs actually have a uh, like tiny looking like spinning pieces here So it actually like spins like that and then you actually have a cool looking gun over here as well as a nice looking pipe uh, Almost looks like a spring and then you do have an LED here as well as an LED here and then an LED in here as well So it looks really nice uh, And then uh, in terms of the battery goes you just go ahead and pop that off and then our battery's down here and you can actually just charge it by plugging it into here. And then for our other robot here, uh, let's go ahead and open that up and take a look. Now this one here is actually a green one and one thing I noticed right away is it does look a little bit different. It does have a nice looking like a matte green finish to it as well. Uh, so you can actually see that the head's a little bit different, uh, the gun looks a little bit different as well as a shield. Uh, everything else is pretty much similar and then same way you know you just go ahead and pop this off and charge it and then we actually have the on off switch over here on the front so you just press that and you're all set and ready to go. So let's go ahead and try this out and set them up and see how they function. Alright, so we're all set and ready to go. I got my app loaded as well as my Archer on. I'm going to go ahead and click on search and I'm going to wait till he pops up. There he is. And then I go ahead and click connect and I can pick my team. So I'll just click on blue for now. And we're all set ready to go. Now in terms of actual like movement, you can just go ahead and use the joystick here. And you can just hit forward, back, left, right. Uh, and so just go move them up. There you go. And then in terms of steering, you can actually just go ahead and turn your phone and then he'll actually turn in that direction that you want. So let's do that right there. And then uh, in addition to that, uh, you actually have a few different weapons here. For instance, uh, if I click this here, you'll notice that he actually turns and he shoots and you see that laser coming off. So that's pretty interesting. Now uh, you have a shield as well. So that'll help uh, defend the enemy from shooting at you. And then you actually have like a cannon, which, uh, there you go. And then this one's actually my favorite. So if you click this. <laughs> so pretty interesting. <laughs> so in addition to that, you can actually go ahead and click on configure and you can actually go ahead and customize the color of the LEDs in your robot. So it kind of gives you a little bit more personality as well as more custom ability. Uh, and other than that, you have a health meter here on the top left. And then uh, what happens is if you get damaged like that, you'll notice that the health meter starts going down. So once it goes down completely, so let's just say he gets hit like that. It'll go into warning, and then it'll say you lose. Now at this point here, uh, your robot's pretty much dead. So what we have to do is you just go ahead and turn them off and turn them back on, and you're set for another round. So with that being said, let's go ahead and try this out and see how he does against another archer. 
All right, so let's go ahead and give it a battle. Um, I'll be controlling the blue one and my wife will be actually controlling the green one here. All right, are you ready? Ready. Fight. Yeah, I beat you. Awesome. So there you go. Woohoo! Oh, you ready? Ready. Fight! Oh, you're using your shield on me, huh? Uh oh, I lost like I lost the part there. Did you die? Oh, looks like Neville just lost and I won that battle. Good job! Fight! Oh, this is pretty fun! Oh no, you just shot me! And I just lost. <laughs> nice job. All right, to give you an idea of what happens when you get shot, I'm going to go ahead and hit shoot and look at the actual app itself of the opponent. So it actually say warning and the health meter will actually start going down, which actually gives it a very unique perspective. All right, well, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you had any questions about the archer, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.